This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus. I'm back at King's Great Buys Plus with the amazing Donnie Mays, our TikTok sensation. And to, this is the prettiest thing, Donnie. It is. Yeah. Spring is upon us, right? Spring is upon us. And, yeah. and to also it goes. I love and how he coordinates his outfit. I with try. That, with I it. try. So what are we making here? Well, this is a Clementine, Mandarin, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of the same thing, just different marketing, I think, is what I've been told anyway. It's a Swiss roll. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put whole... Um, Clementines inside and roll it up. So it's really, just, you're gonna put the whole thing in I there. I know, right? Craziness, okay. craziness. So it's just a sponge cake. Uh, you know, you want to separate your egg whites and your egg yolks, whip them up with some sugar, and then incorporate them again so that you get that big, fluffy sponge cake that everyone knows and loves. And you have to you're using a jelly roll pan. A half sheet. Why? Pan, correct. Why do you, why well, do you it just it? makes it a whole lot easier, and it makes it thin, and it just it's the purpose. For it, the, it's, it, it's, it's you know, it really is. So wait. If go. you don't have one, you should have a couple. Um, and then I've just got some sweetened cream cheese. It's two blocks of cream cheese, some mandarin um, uh, zest, and then some vanilla and some powdered sugar. That's it. And I'm just going to spread this um, on the sponge cake. And you just do that. Just yeah, spread it all on there. just spread it all on there, right? It doesn't have to be um, completely covered because you don't want to go all the way to the edges. Oh, that's right. When you roll, you mm -hmm. want to, you know. Yeah, you can, but it's going to be a little messy. Um, but anyway, you just want to... Spread all this out evenly, and of course, so it does too. It's fresh, it's citrusy, and look at those orange specks in there. It's just so much flavor, and there's actually almond flavor in the sponge cake. Oh, okay. Could you make it any other you flavor? You could make it any orange flavor. Orange if you wanted to. Uh, right. Orange if you wanted right. to, vanilla if you'd like. So, oh, now this I gotta see. So you're just gonna take your whole mandarin oranges, clementines, whatever you want to call them, and you're just evenly going to put them across. Sorry, I gotta do you gotta, that. You kinda got a little lip there, right? Yeah, so you yeah. got your paper behind you to So help you just you wanna butt those up end to end. Like so. Well, it's clever. It's clever. And then you wanna use your parchment paper to roll over itself. Now, are you trying to pull tight I, I down am. there? I'm you really wanna get a down, tight roll? I'm pushing down and rolling at the same time. Oh, and then that I'm is also good. pulling back my um, parchment paper and then Oh, so that gives you room to correct, roll. Correct, correct, right. correct. And then what we're going to do at this point, and then you want to make sure that it's tight. If you want, you can kind of trim the um, cake or whatever. Then we're going to roll it again. I've got another piece of parchment paper here and then some plastic. Plastic wrap. I'm just going to roll it back up. Okay. I'm just going to turn it around so it's easier for me. I'm just going to roll it up. And then we're going to put this in the refrigerator. For about an hour, I had done it overnight. That way, to make sure that structure really stays. So it's good and tight. It's good and tight. And then that's what we come up with right there. Look at this. I cannot wait. Oh, the juice is just going everywhere. Which yes. One. So no calories in this. And you want to, you know, you want to cut it pretty thin just to, so it's, you know, an even bite kind of thing. Mm. You can do it any flavor. I'm thinking maybe even strawberries, you know. Mm -hmm. A lime or a lemon. A lemon would be very puckering, but it'd be good. No, it'd be great. Yeah. It really would. Yeah. Donnie, this is great. Now, have you done this on TikTok yet? I have not. This will be an Instagram picture. Okay. Oh, an Instagram picture. You can follow Donnie. Let everybody know how. Um, at Kitchen Tool on TikTok or Donnie's Dish on Instagram. Or, of course, on Local Lifestyle. That's right. Thank you for that little taste of spring and summer. We'll be back with more lifestyles right after this. You got to try this. This portion of Local Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus.